Okay, so in this video, I'm actually going to be reviewing something very interesting and something that looks really amazing in my opinion. So, this is called Craft OS, and it is made by Knox Tech. So, he has a YouTube channel, and he does stuff for the Pi, and he, he's into Minecraft a lot, so he... Um, so check out his channel, I'll leave a link in the description, and what he's done is he made a Minecraft themed OS for the Pi. So he has a readme, always check out the readme first. So it's it's called Craft OS, and it's built on XFCE base, so it's 32-bit um, Raspberry Pi OS, and he's installed XFCE on here for us, and then he's themed it some, some tweaks, and... He's installed Minecraft and made Minecraft better, and he's done a lot of tweaks with that to make Minecraft great on this. So I'll first go over the features of this OS, and then I'll go into some Minecraft and show you how the Minecraft performs. So we have Chromium, um, and we all he's also included this Puffin Internet Terminal. So this is another web browser for the Pi, and it's supposed to be really good, but... I, I just stick with Chromium, I get better performance with that, so, and he's installed like this dock that goes up and down, which is cool, so this is his website, I'll leave the link in the description so you can download it, and it's Minecraft theme as you see, um, he's done a great job on his website, so he's um, given a picture and it looks just like what I'm showing you, and then he has another picture of him playing Minecraft, so that's that, and then if you go to passwords, it shows all of the passwords that you will need and then downloads so he has two mirrors that's good so if it gets a lot of downloads you can download it from SourceForge or OSDN I got better download speeds from OSDN so I would recommend that I mean you guys can download it from SourceForge too it doesn't matter and then he, he's opened a forum so if you guys have any problems or anything you can just write and tell them from this forum so that's very useful and let's just close this web browser up and we have waste basket and I do want to mention this is based on XFCE so that makes it lightweight and the performance should be really good this is our file system this is our home so the file manager we also have team viewer in here which is useful if you do like uh, use that and then we have this, he's included a light pad on here, so this is an app where we can see all of our apps like this. So, we have About XFCE, and we have all these apps, and then we have Chromium Media Edition. So, if you want to watch Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, I cover this in another video, actually. Um, he's already pre-installed it, so you can just open that up, and go and watch Netflix or Disney+. Plus. And then we have File Managers, Keyboards, He's he's made a Minecraft launcher for us. So he's made an app for us, so it's super easy to open up Minecraft. And then we have Team Viewer. He's included Etcher for us to flash OSs, or you can install Raspberry Pi Imager. That's really easy to install too. We have Terminal, Puffin, Internet, and that's about it. So to go out of here, you just press Escape and you're get out. And the Terminal. So this is based on Raspberry Pi OS. You can install anything that you normally could on Raspberry Pi OS. So if I go sudo apt install oops <laughs> sorry guys let me just fix that mistake there we go and enter and hit Y and now we'll have a Raspberry Pi imager and it asks for a key ring the key ring is craft so just hit craft and click unlock and it unlocks it for you and we all one of my essential apps like I don't use Raspberry Pi OS any kind of it without PyKiss so I have to install it because there's tons of games and awesome stuff in it just copy his command paste it in the terminal and enter so it is done so if we open up the light pad we have imager 
Raspberry Pi imager to flash your OS, um, your operating system to your SD card, which is very amazing. You can also use Etcher if you prefer. Then, this Pike is here. Mm. Let's search it. So Pikus isn't showing up in here, but if if it doesn't show up, you can just um open up the file manager from home. Uh, where's Pikus? Here's Pikus and Pikus SH. You just click on that. Oh, I guess so. Open with other application and I. Th Wait. <laughs> Normally there's the execute button, so that's weird. So you just gotta find the terminal and click open with terminal, and that should work, I think. So just terminal emulator. Hmm. I I don't know. So Pycus didn't work for for me. Uh, maybe if you do a reboot, it would work. I'm not sure, but I mean it's not so important. Um, so now let's go into some Minecraft. So he he has an icon here to open up Minecraft. So you have to you have to have um, a account and yeah. So if you have an account, you're just gonna open it up, sign in, and then click play demo, and it's gonna download some files that you need, and then it will crash, and then you open it again, it will crash again, and then it will work. So that's what happened to me. So it does that. It just crashed. If I open it again, uh, so it should launch. I mean, I tried it a few minutes ago and it worked. So let me get that sorted out. Okay, so I got it launched. So um, you just have to be patient because. Minecraft's a pretty heavy game, and to get it running on the Pi is um, a big thing, actually. So, um, there, it's not the fastest game, but once you start playing it, it does get faster. And I could put it in full screen mode, but when I put it in full screen mode, my FPS goes down, and it just makes the for performance a lot worse. So, I do have a chest already. Because it comes with the chest. Because it's this is like a free thing. Because I haven't paid for Minecraft. So. And let's get. So we'll just be testing out how the FPS and stuff is I mean while I'm moving around I am th right now to me this is playable is it the best you're gonna best minecraft you're ever gonna play no But is it very cool to see this on the Pi? Definitely. So, like, if we go chop some wood, oops. So, I mean, this moving, seriously, it's not, it doesn't feel laggy to me, or anything like that. And, just to say that this is the latest, it's the latest Minecraft there is. It's Minecraft 1.16.2. So, it's not like an old version of Minecraft or anything. And you can join servers and do stuff like that on here too. So, this is the full Java Minecraft. Running on your Pi. 
I mean, you can't install this on normal Raspberry Pi OS, but the developer of this operating system has done a lot of tweaks and stuff to make this this awesome, to run this great. If you just install it, it probably won't perform this well. But because he's done a lot of tweaks and stuff, it really is great. Yeah, so So, let's just look at There we go. You can see how many FPS it is. And so if I go and I make this full screen, the performance is going to go down. Like, I already see it going down. So, if I just go back, make it smaller, and continue. It's hard for me to see like that, so just go like this. Definitely better. Yeah, so... Yeah, so that's enough of this Minecraft gameplay. So I can just close that out. Uh, close up the launcher. And yeah, so overall, this Craft OS, I really love. It's one of my, now, it's one of um, all my top lists of operating systems for the Pi. And if you're into gaming or Minecraft or whatever, um, you should definitely try this operating system out, and if you're into emulators, you can install RetroPie on here easily. Um, I have a video about that too. You can just follow that, and you can have your emulators and Minecraft all on this one thing. So, um, great job to Knox Pro for making this operating system, and thanks for all this hard work. Yeah, so I hope you guys like this operating systems, and I hope you like my video, and please don't forget to subscribe.